Hello, this is Sal. In today's practice lab, I will be configuring OSBF version 2 and OSBF version 3 in the same network. I will start by configuring IP addressing for all the devices in the topology diagram. Then I'll configure OSBF version 2 routing for the IP version 4 portion of the network and OSBF version 3 for the IP version 6 portion of the network. One of the routers will be configured with both IP version 4 and IP version 6, which is router 2. Finally, I will verify the configurations and test connectivity between end devices. The purpose of any routing protocol, including OSVF, to allow routers to exchange information about networks they are uh, they can forward or route to. An OSBF version 2 router sends a special message called a hello packet out each OSBF enabled interface to discover other OSBF version 2 neighbor routers. We also can divide OSBF version 2 networks into areas. OSBF version 3 protocol for IP version 6 is similar to OSBF version 2 in its concept of link state database. Intra and inter area and AS external routes and virtual links. OSPF works with IP version 4 and OS version 3 works with IP version 6. On the description of this video, you will find two files one for the packet tracer source files and the documents to walk you through the lab step by step. I hope my videos are helpful for those who are seeking to be certified with Cisco. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share it on your uh, Facebook page and give me the thumb up. And please let me know if you have any suggestions, comments or questions. I will gladly answer you back. So now I'll start doing the configurations on router 1. Enable. Configure terminal host name router one. I will configure the interfaces starting with the interface of gig zero zero, and this is with the IP address of one seventy two that sixteen ten that one with the subnet mask of uh, slash twenty four, and enable the port with no shut, and the other interface of serial zero 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 with the IP address of 10.1.1.1 with slash 30 subnet mask and enable the port with no shut. Now I'll configure a OSPF router, OSPF with the process ID 1, the router ID of 1.1.1.1 for router 1. And now we have two networks here, the network of 172.16.10.0 with the adverse subnet mask of 000.255 in area 0 and the other network of 10.1.1.0 with the adverse subnet mask of 000.3 in area 0 and the passive interface on gig 00. Now I configured the interfaces with IP version 4 and uh, OSPF version 2 on router 1. So moving to router 2, enable, configure terminal, uh, hostname, router 2. And now for the interface of gig 00, the IP address of 172.16.20.1 with slash 24 subnet mask and enable the port with no shut and the other interface which is the link with router 1 on serial 000 and this is with the IP address of 10.1.1.2 with slash 30 subnet mask and also enable the port with no shut. So I configured router 2 with the IP version 4 addresses. Now I will configure OSVF version 2. Uh, configure terminal router OSVF process ID 1. 
the router ID is 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. Now we have the two networks, the one with 72.16.20.0 with the inverse subnet mask of 000.255 in area 0, and the other network of 10.1.1.0 with the inverse subnet mask of 000.3 in area 0, and the passive interface of gig 00. zero. So now uh, I configured the two routers, router 1 and router 2, with the IP version 4 port interfaces and the OSVF version 2. So I will run this command here, show IP route on router 2, and showing us that it has a route to this portion of the network. The same, I will run the same command on router 1 show IP route and showing us a route or a route to this portion or this uh, network so I'll run this ping from PC1 to PC2 172.16.20.2 and our configuration so far is successful so I'll move back to router 2 we have this interface on gig 00 is configured with both IP version 4, which we configured already, and with IP version 6. And we have this link between router 2 and router 3, which we need to configure it with IP version 6. So on router 2, starting with the interface uh, gig 00, IP version 6 address of 2001 column db8 column 1 column column 1 64 and ip version 6 address of fe80 column column 1 this is for the link local and now for the interface of serial 001 this is with the IP version 6 address of 2001, column DB8, column 2, column, column 164. No shut here. And this port, we, can, we opened it before uh, with uh, the gig, but either way, I will just run the command no shut, just to be on the safe side. Now, I will configure IP version uh, OSVF version 3 on router 2 so the command goes like this but before we will need to run this command IP version 6 unicast routing now the command goes like this IPv6 router OSVF process ID 1 router ID on router 2 is 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. Now for the interfaces on gig 00 and the serial 001. So interface of gig 00, IP version 6, OSPF 1, area 0, and the other interface of serial 001, IPv6, OSPF 1, area 0. Here should be a space. So now we are done with IP version 6 or RSPF uh, version 3 on router 2. So now let's move to router 3. Now we need to configure the two interfaces with just IP version 6. Enable, configure terminal. The host name on router 3 is router 3. Now uh, interface of gig 00, zero IP version 6 address of 2001 column DB8 column 3 column column 1 64 IP version 6 address of FE80 column column 3 this is for the link local and now no shut 
Now the other interface of serial 0, 0, 0 IP version 6 address of 2001 colon DB8 colon 2 colon colon 2 64 and enable the port with no shell. Now we will configure router 3 with OSBF version 3. So exit here. First we need to run this command IPv6 unicast routing then IPv6 router OSBF 1 now it needs the router ID of 3.3.3.3 .3 this is on router ID on router 3 IPv6 router OSBF 1 we have two interfaces the interface of gig 0 0 IP version 6 OSPF process ID 1 in area 0 and the other interface of serial 0 0 0 IP v6 OSPF process ID 1 in area 0 so now we are done with the configurations so let me run this show command show IP version 6 because we configured only IP version 6 on router uh, the three show IP version six OS uh, so show IP version six route and it's showing us a route or a route to this portion of the network here and I run the the same or two commands show commands on router uh, two which is because we configured IP version four and IP version six so I'll start with show IP version six route or route which we can see here it has a route or a route to this network and also I will run show IP which is IP version 4 route to on router 2 and it's showing us it has an IP version 4 route to this network here so I will run a ping from PC2 to PC3 so ping 2001 colon db8 colon uh, 3 colon colon 1 3 colon colon 1 enter and we we'll receive a reply back so this is how to configure the network with both OSBF version 2 and OSBF version 3 here you can also configure the interfaces here with uh, IP you can you know on your own when you download the description of this video just add uh, uh, an IP address version 6 here on router 1 and on the PC for the interface uh, bit, the link between router 1 and router 2 and also between router 1 uh, sorry and on this uh, port on gig 00, zero and here configure IP version 4 also and you will have you can have both uh, dynamic routing protocol OSPF version 2 and version 3 on this network and run the show commands and the OSPF you know show commands and you will learn little by little I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching if you like this video please share it on your Facebook page and tell your uh, colleagues co-workers or friends about it if they are going for the Cisco exams I will see you soon in my next video have a nice day